Hi everyone, yeah, just taking a look at uh, Polka Star. I was quite bullish on this a few weeks ago. I did mention it when it was uh, down here at like $2, um, but I never did a video about it. Um, I did buy in down here and I rode it all the way up. Obviously, it, it peaked out, but from the looks of it now, I'm going to do a video today, obviously. Um, from the looks of it now, it's, it's forming something called a, a falling wedge, which is actually quite a bullish pattern, guys. It's a reversal pattern. Okay, so it, it peaked up. Yeah, it's basically forming a, a, a bullish a bullish pattern, which is a uh, falling wedge, or you could say almost a bull flag. So a target here for, for this falling wedge, the way you measure this target here is you basically go from the top of the wedge down there to the original point at the bottom of the wedge, and you ride that from the breakout point. You see it's already broke out of the wedge, which is confirming that it's a falling wedge, and it's came back into it. So... This is the actual level in which you, you, we're going to be targeting for the breakout guys. So that's going to give us a target up there of $7.83. We'll mark that for you guys right up there. $7.84, sorry. Uh, roughly that sort of area anyway. But to confirm this move, we need to break above this level of resistance now guys. So we keep an eye on this level right here. So as, as long as we can keep... So as long as we can keep trading up now out of this falling wedge, which we've broken out of, you can see we've broken out there. So we come up here and we'll probably hit a bit of resistance there. But if we can get through that, that resistance there, which is at 598, then we could have an insane move right up to test a new all time high of $7.84 for a uh, Polka starter. The ticker is Poles. I'll show you in a second whereabouts that can be traded. Um, but if we was to take this trade right now, guys, if you was to go long on this trade right now, they buy in here at 549, that's the current price. Set yourself a small stop loss, coming back in to this just below in the wedge. There, just above the wedge, set yourself a small stop loss, and you could ride this all the way up to the top there, and that's a 42% trade, guys. So again, if you if you use a leverage platform, you could get 10x that. So that would be a 420% trade. That's a 4x on any investment. Uh, not financial advice, guys. Just something I'm seeing in the Polka starter chart here. Um, we've gone up, which has been brilliant. We've hit this top, and now we're coming down, and we're forming something which is called a, 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 a falling wedge, which is just a basically a retest of support, and then we break up to the upside. Yeah, sorry about that. I had to go away for a minute. You won't even notice. But um, we've gone up, basically. And uh, we're forming what looks to be a falling wedge. Or a, a kind of bull flag, if you look. And we look like we're breaking out. So what we've done, we've come down, tested it. The support down here, you see. There was a bit of a scam wick down there. That just probably liquidated some longs. Um, and we're coming down. See, the volume is decreasing here as well, which is an indication of a breakout as well, guys. Let's keep an eye on that. Um, but we've come, we've we've broke out of the wedge. We've come back down, and as you can see, we're testing it now, and we're actually breaking back out. So, the levels we're eyeballing here is is a key area. Is from the top of the wedge down to the initial touch of the bottom, and the area you want to be targeting is the breakout there. From the top of this where it's broke out and come back down so as soon as we get to that that will be a confirmation of a breakout so we mark that price there so we're looking at a potential target of six dollars if we can push up towards six dollars we'll be looking at potential upside uh, a breakout of this rising uh, falling wedge sorry up to seven dollars 88 so if we was to long from this position on poles Set a small stop loss up to that level. Again, you'll be looking at a 40% trade there, guys, on poles. So it's just a quick update on poles. Something that I'm seeing in the charts there is this falling wedge, which is a bullish continuation pattern. Bringing up the EMAs on um, poles. As you can see, we, we've gone up there being supported. We dipped under it a bit, being supported, 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 supported. Supported, went up there, came back down, tested it. We actually dropped below the EMA there, which was very bearish. You see, we dropped right down, came back up, tested it, came out a little bit there, fell back down. We come back up, tested it, and now we've actually come out twice here. And we're just breaking out above the EMAs right at the moment. 
so again as long as we can maintain this bullish trajectory here on poles this may be the local bottom right there so we may never see I'm not saying may never but we could potentially say that 472 is the the bottom of this move right now for poles because this looks insanely bullish now guys this looks like it's just going to do this and break up to the upside to our target so that's a target and we'll probably just creep up towards it now guys for poles because the Pol polka ecosystem is is doing really well at the moment it is blowing up so you know anything to do with the polka ecosystem is is doing really well as as is the binance smart chain ecosystem so again we, we we are insanely bullish across the board guys on uh bitcoin ethereum uh crypto projects in general so everything's still good so there's still a lot of progress to be made these pullbacks are perfectly healthy in this bull market you will see it you know don't get scared you will see as pullback and test the emas and retest and then get above and, and continuation so yeah it's, this, this is just a move a potential move that i'm seeing in the polka starter space guys so a breakout from this point to a target point of seven dollars 88 uh in this continuation pattern for we're currently on the hourly we'll switch to the four hourly time frame as you can see that that looks perfectly like a, a bull flag there to me so we've gone up tested we've come back down we've been ranging in this bull flag just down there as you can see and we are starting to break out of it hopefully it looks like we're a breakout is imminent so again you will target it's from the top there to the breakout i would say is potentially there so you see it dipped and then broke up so if we say we break out from this point then yeah that's perfectly lining up with our target there guys you can see that so that does look like it's it's imminent it looks like we could potentially be seeing a lot of upside um on poker so just just a little um something for you to keep an eye on in the polka starter charts guys again it's not it's not financial advice it's not certain uh it could keep breaking down in this bull flag you know it could keep trading in this like that and, and go down but i'm just saying that potentially this this trade could break out and, and this is the targets on polka starter so i'll just show you right now whereabouts you can actually trade Pol polka starter i'm gonna head over to coinskid.com and if we go to markets on coinskid.com i'll drop the link in the description below for you guys so you can see these are all the exchanges that the polka starters trading on like i said to you i do expect um i do expect polka starter to come to the binance trading platform soon um that's probably in, imminent to be fair because it is a, a an expanding project it's a good project in the polka dot space so yeah po polka start guys this is where you can trade it and it is you can just click on a ticker there and it will take you to the exchange you can join up and trade it or whatever you want to do guys so yeah i hope you i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed this update on polka starter to the moon guys okay guys i hope you like that video um please share and subscribe to the channel and i'll be back again with another video thank you bye